sole goal of this channel is not necessarily to market myself. I mean, I've already been there, trust me. I've made all my success and money and film and theater and the art of the diorama. I've already ran that cycle and I'm not interested in that vocational aspect of it anymore, right? Uh, would I be open to a commission or a, a small one-off piece? Probably. But my main goal of this channel is to teach people, to teach how to get to this level. I mean, what would be the point if I was to, you know, monopolize, you know, the art form, you know, just to stroke my ego and to show everybody, you know, oh, look at this. I mean, really? Maybe when I was younger, I was like that. I'll admit it. You know, I had a big ego and it was the competition that pushed me to get better, actually. You know, it, it might not have been healthy at the time, but it sure was a big motivator, you know, to compete against other modelers like that were in the market that I was trying to get the client to pay them, you know, instead of me and so on, you know, like that's, that's how I used it. But at the end of the day, I didn't have any friends. <laughs> Yeah. I was I was all alone, right, with my success. And what good is that if you don't have a community when you get older? <laughs> it's a pretty lonely place, you know. So that's the goal of the channel. The goal is to 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 share all this, you know, techniques and methods. A lot of it's already been done before anyway. All I'm doing is maybe evolving it a little bit or just approaching it from a different angle, you know. I don't like doing the same thing twice. I never did. So the skill set is transferable. It is teachable. And uh, so when I share the, you know, the rather long winded tutorials, like 20 minutes long and stuff, um, that's my, my intention, right? Is to try to encourage and show a few uh, techniques from a different angle. And a different approach that you may like or you may not like. Or might say, oh, I've, it's, you know, it's been done before. Of, of course it has. It's all been done before. There's nothing new under the sun. Trust me. At my age, and I'm sure a lot of you are my age and older, know that. I just want to encourage you and show you another angle uh, from the way I do it. And because I come from a little bit of a, well, I wouldn't say commercial approach, but I had to move fast you know, to make money back in the day. Now I'm relaxed and I just want to keep, you know, just doing it, you know, and sharing it with the community that's interested. Like, I'm not going to drive trains in circles and back and forth all day long. Like, there are people that love to do that. That's great, man. Have at her. But that's not my forte, you know. I like to model at the end of the day, and the diorama is a way to define the level at which I like to do it. So I hope that's encouraging, um, you know, to the whole community. Because, you know, I mean, then you'll want to revisit your layout. You know, I've been there, man. I've had the big layouts unfinished. Like, you know, there are even layouts out there right now on YouTube. They're massive, right? And I don't want to, you know, sound, you know, negative or anything like that. But I would be really surprised if they even get close to finished in terms of scenery. I really would, because I know from experience, man, that is a huge undertaking. The mind, the imagination, you know, the theater in the mind uh, projects it all as being this soon to arrive reality. But when it gets down to the nails and tacks of things and time, you begin to realize, whoa, man. And I, you know, I have links to all the channels. I know I saw the people say, oh, yeah, this is, you know, I'm going to give you another update. Three, four months go by, there's nothing. Where's the layout, right? Bit off way more than they can chew, you know. But they learn from it, I hope. But I hope they don't get discouraged from the hobby where they don't come back again. That's the tragedy. They get burned out and they don't even want nothing to do with it anymore. And you can't control that aspect. When you get burned out, uh, it's it's a force to be reckoned with. I know because I've been there once or twice. And doing layouts this way, the shelf layout format or the smaller diorama, 
basically deflects the burnout factor. Right? It's hard to explain. There's a smaller footprint. You go to bed at night and you go, I can manage this. You come back and it's this gem of a thing that you just keep pouring into and you like it because it, there's a sense of completion and reward so close, even when you get started. You know, that's why I really encourage you, you know, if you're coming back to the hobby or just starting out, consider it, you know, because you'll enjoy every aspect of the hobby. You can do locomotives, rolling stock, weathering, scenery, building, scratch building, kit building, electronics, backdrops, you know, you name it, right? It's still here. So I just wanted to leave that with you and uh, just as a content update and the direction that I'm going to keep going in regardless, right? So have at her, man. Give her a shot. Give her a try. If you're struggling with the larger layout, maybe sit down and rethink it, you know, and ask yourself questions. Be honest with yourself, though. Like, don't like don't kid yourself. Like, write it down. Take a piece of paper, start writing down your, you know, your truth, like within yourself. And be honest with yourself, if anything, on paper and say, what do you like and what do you don't like? Just impulse and put it down and then review it and take it from there. Okay, so thanks for tuning in and I hope you have a great day.